if you're just waking up and you haven't seen the back of the newspaper or indeed the front of the newspaper, let me tell you what they say. United have betrayed me. I don't respect Eric Ten Hag. No empathy for my sick girl. Man United made me black sheep. Um, it's a complete bombshell of an interview. It's a, an exclusive, a Sunsport exclusive. Piers Morgan's basically been talking to him about his time at Manchester United this time round. And Harmy, he's had a lot to say. Um, just a few of the top lines. On to, and Eric Ten Hag, he says, um, I don't have respect for him, but he doesn't show me respect. If you don't have respect for me, I'm never going to have respect for you. Um, he digs into Wayne Rooney as well. He says, I don't know why he criticises me so badly. Probably because he finished his career and I'm still playing at a high level. And he chuckled and he said... I'm not going to say I'm I'm better looking. I'm looking better, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's a completely different kettle of shit, fish. Um, I'm not going to say I'm looking better than him, which is true. <laughs> what he says. There's, there's a lot going on on Manchester United. He says, I think the fans should know the truth. I want the best for the club. This is why I've come to Manchester United. But you have some things inside that don't help us reach top level, like City, Liverpool, and now even Arsenal. A club with the dimension as in this dimension, should be top of the tree, in my opinion. And they are not, unfortunately. Wow. Where do we start with this one, Harmy? Would you, would you have ever... <coughs> if, you're, if you're... Right, so you're a Newcastle fan, right? One of your club legends leaves and comes back, has the, has the career that, United, that he's had at United. If they came out and did this while they're still at the club, how would you feel as a fan? I think you'd be disappointed as a fan. Um, but I don't think you. I, I, I think Manchester United. I, I'm, I'm speaking as a Newcastle fan. I'm not speaking as a Man Manchester United fan. We'd love you to get to get in touch and see what you think. But I don't think a Manchester United fan is surprised at this. I really don't. I think this is another another horror story of Cristiano Cristiano Ronaldo coming back to Manchester United. Dark cloud that's been lingering above Manchester United probably now for a year and a bit. Um, look, he's had his say. He's one of the best players of all time, one of the best players the club's had. Uh, I look at this and think, who's in the wrong here? Should Manchester United let him go when he asked to leave? But he can't come out and say all this while you're still connected to Manchester United Football Club. Um, and I hope for Manchester United fans, more than anything else, that there is a, a, a resolution during the World Cup and he... he it doesn't linger on anymore. He has to leave the club. The club wanted him to stay. I can understand from as a player from Cristiano's point of view that this club wanted me to stay. This club wanted me as a player. But then, you know, the, I've been sub for so long now, and he's had you know the family the family tragedy, um, which I think st stopped the the pre season of 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 of, of him coming into play. Um, which then made him play catch up. Then obviously the manager could come in. They have had a bit of a, an issue falling out. I think respect works both ways. I think he's earned the ultimate respect because of the player he is and the character he is and what he's done in the game. But you've also got to look at he's talking about respect from the club. He left before a game finished. He's refused to go on as a substitute. He openly came out and says, I want to leave the football club. Um, you can't really have it. I don't think you can have it both ways. So, I, for me personally, see that the front page headlines it's made, which it was always going to. It's like if I'm a Manchester United fan, it's like, look, can we somehow get a re resolution during the next six weeks of the World Cup so we can shake hands? And this horror story can't continue because mm. it has been, for a fan's point of view, it's been a horror story because it's lingered over for far too long of a, of a great football club. I think he's in real danger as well of of completely ruining that legacy if it's not already been ruined of of this superstar coming back to Manchester United which could have been an incredible story and then saying stuff like this while you're still in the club about the manager about um, he says that United have stood, st stood still since I left um, the previous time I just think there's ways of doing things and I'm yeah. not sure this is the right way um, we're going to play you some I'm going to play quite a lot, in fact, of this um, throughout the show today. So stay tuned. United fans, really interested to see what you think about it, to be honest. Like whether or not you, you agree with us and you think this is a bad thing to do. Or is he hitting the nail on the head? Did someone have to say it? Is he only speaking the truth about the club that you guys love, that you feel is frustrating you at the moment? 
Um, or is it just terrible timing? What does it What does it mean for him? What does it mean for the future? It can't, I, he must have a way out. He must have an opportunity now. He knows, look, I'm going, so I'm going to say these things. I'm not, you know, this is the end of my time at Manchester United. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.